Hi, welcome back. Today is day five of finding the surface area of triangular prisms. So today we're just going to look at a slightly different way of doing this. And we're going to use three flare pens. It's exciting. Okay, so let's say you're having a hard time imagining how to unfold it as a net. So we can look at the different parts of the triangle, the different faces, and we can identify them individually, okay? So we have this bottom rectangle here. I'm just gonna do this in green and kind of shade it in, okay? And you can see here that it is gonna be an eight by 12. So our green one is gonna equal eight times 12. And eight times 12 is equal to 96. So we have one of our five faces, one of our five sides done. Okay, so let's switch to a different color. I'm gonna go with my pink color here. And it's gonna be this back rear rectangle. And we'll just shade it in so you can see which one that is. And this one is nine by eight, because this eight is the same as this one. So this is gonna be nine by eight, which equals 72. Okay, and let's do our other rectangle before we move to the triangles. And it is this one on the top. Let's see here, it's here. So we can see which lines, we have a 15 and an eight. When you actually trace them like that, you can see that it's this 15 and the eight. So it's gonna be 15 times eight, which equals 120. So we have our three rectangles, and now we're going to do our triangles. <clears throat> the two triangles are the same. And maybe I should get a fourth color, ooh, okay. So for our rectangles, I'm sorry, for our triangles, we're going to use this teal color. And we have our height and our base. So it's one half base times height, right? So we're gonna do nine times 12 divided by two. So we're gonna get 108 divided by two. So we know each triangle is 54. So then it's just a matter of adding this all together. And we have two 54s, right? Because we have two triangles. So we're just gonna add 96 plus 72 plus 120 plus 54 plus 54. You'll notice that that's actually 108. And you could go back and use that number, but um, you can also just add them all together just to be sure, make sure you're understanding what's going on as well. So when you add them all together, and I would suggest using a calculator or at least checking your work with a calculator when you're done. Um, but when you're all done with that, you add them all together, the surface area is 396. These are meters. And they're, you're not measuring a distance, you're not measuring a volume, you're measuring an area. So it's going to be meters squared or squared meters. So yeah, that is another way to find the surface area of a triangular prism. And I like it, especially if you get the chance to use all of those awesome flare pens, right? Like how fun is that? Or whatever pens, crayons, colored pencils, markers, whatever you have. So there you have it. That is our last worked example for this unit. And good luck out there doing your work. I hope you are really catching on to this and getting it. And if you aren't, make sure you're asking questions to your teacher. We will see you again sometime out there on a different unit and have a great day. Bye!